What's going on, y'all? Sandman here. Uh, we're playing Doom Eternal. And uh, this is on Nightmare. I actually started playing on Nightmare. And uh, finished the campaign on Nightmare. I wanted to uh, just put up a review of everything. Now, when I first originally started playing the game on live stream, the one thing I complained about was the ammo. Ammo consumption, um, issues having ammo, feeling like there wasn't enough ammo, 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 right? And um, I don't know, it felt justified because it felt like every single time I looked up, I, I was empty in the shotgun. Um, and I was struggling to have ammo in the AR, and I think, uh, well, the AR, the uh, heavy cannon in this case. Um, and I think the problem stemmed from the fact of how I was playing it. Um, the issue with playing this game is you can't play it. I, I, I don't even want to say an issue, so let me let me let me retract that. The the thing about just the, let's just put it in general in general consensus. The thing about playing this game is you can't play it like you can uh, let's say Call of Duty or something like that, where you can use. Um, uh, you know, environmental cover, you can use, you know, uh, cover, you know, like, almost like having engagements in a hallway and, and going back and forth down, you know, using angles to cover. That's not necessarily what this game is. This game is not that style of uh, first-person shooter. This game is an arena-style first-person shooter, which has way more uh, open spaces, but what, it, what it's telling you to do it, is it's telling you to move it's telling you to stay in motion um, and another thing that I realized is it wants you to use all of your guns it doesn't want you to rely on just a super shotgun now my problem with it originally is because I come from Doom 1 and Doom 2 as like my that's that's my intro everybody who you know who's spoken with me who's been on my live streams or you know has heard me say that you know my intro to first person shooters was in uh was in uh, I want to say what 93 94 when Doom came out on uh, you know 3.5 discs um, on the uh, I mean I've, I had a 286 and a 386 but I, I think I played these on my 386 or my 486 uh, PC so obviously at this point I'm throwing age but that's my point my point was I played Doom 2 primarily with just the super shotgun so I expected you know, I, I came into this game thinking, all right, I just want to rock out with the super shotgun, and that's it. And that's not the case. Um, and because of that, I also, um, you know, years of playing COD after the fact, um, have me trying to play it, had me trying to play it a different way, had me trying to play it, um, you know, using cover and, and trying to pick my shots. And, and, and this game doesn't reward that. This game rewards you for being fast paced. So if you're not playing fast paced, you're not getting the ammo you need. You're not getting the armor you need. You're not getting, you know, all this other stuff. So you need to be able to not only play fast paced, obviously, but by fast paced, I mean you need to be able to use your shotgun, use your heavy cannon, use your flamethrower, use your grenades, use your ice bomb, use switch out, use, you know, uh, the chain gun, use the rocket launcher, the plasma, and depending on what enemy shows up, You've got to change out what you can and can't use. Um, you know, if it's one of the big bosses and, and you really don't want to waste your time, you got to use the Crucible, use the BFG. You got to use, you know, it, it does force your gameplay style. And then there's certain enemies like, let's say, the Carcass, where he puts up a shield right in front of your face, and he's not a hard guy to kill. He's just annoying as fuck. So what happens is, you know, let's say you're running around with the rocket launcher all day, um, and then he throws a shield in your face, you end up eating your own RPG. And uh, it forces you to, you know, say, all right, let me get off the rocket launcher. Let me use something else. Um, let me, you know, you know, let me, let me, let me reapproach this. Let me, let me pick my targets, you know, because eventually, let's say, you know, you're fighting a whole bunch of shit and that shield just keeps popping up. You're like, all right, I got to get rid of this asshole first. He's got to go. Um, and then I, and then I reapproach and re-engage, you know, the, uh, the situation. But in the meantime, I got to get rid of this guy, you know? And, um... Once I got that pacing, or once I started feeling, uh, once I started 
feeling like, all right, I'm understanding this pacing now a little bit, and I understand, you know, this is what I have to do. Um, I started just trying to figure out, like, okay, where am I, you know, what, where am I weak at? What, what's causing me the most deaths? What's causing me, you know, the biggest issues? And, and I realized that uh, mo movement was one of my biggest uh, problems, as well as being reliant on one weapon for too long kind of thing um and so i started trying to work on that also and i'm nowhere near uh good but you know uh just saying so um that that was one thing so the ammo the pacing all of it is a, is a change it's a departure from what you're used to playing and um i think i think what kind of kind of gave it away and the fact that you can't play it like that was that you can't aim down sights um, I mean, you can with the heavy cannon, but it's probably the only weapon you can aim down sights with. You can't aim down sights with the shotgun, you can't aim down sights with, you know, the arbalist, you can't aim down sights with, uh, pretty much anything else. Um, the towers and, um, there's a reason for it. There's a reason you can't aim down sights. It's primarily to keep, uh, you know, the pacing fast, um, to keep you... Yeah, that, that's just how they hold, the whole pacing is. Um, if you, I would say this: you've seen my gameplay before, and uh, you've seen it like on, seen on. I want to say, hurt me plenty when I did the live stream, and then you've seen a little bit on Ultra Violent, and then this is the nightmare gameplay. Um, don't be turned off by the speed, the pacing of the game. It's completely doable. It just takes a little bit of time. And uh, it's one of those where I would say they put all the focus into the um, into the PVE, into the into the campaign, but the uh, PVP or the multiplayer isn't worth isn't worth it. I know somebody will be like, "Oh no, it's really it's actually pretty good. You just gotta put it." Not really. Um, and I'm that's not saying anything. Um, I've seen some guys play disgusting. I've seen some nasty players on the battle mode, and and you know, props to them. Dope as shit. I've seen I've seen some really cool fucking really cool gameplay. I mean, even firsthand, I've seen some cool gameplay from uh, some of these guys. But you know, the lack of team deathmatch, the lack of um, just multiplayer modes in general, um, it kind of fucking it's a little lackluster, and it's not worth it in my opinion. If you're gonna get it for multiplayer, I would not get this game primarily for multiplayer. Um, not at all. Not by a long shot. But I will say it's it's a good game. It's got a good pacing. It actually forced me to play fast pace, um, faster than what I'm used to. Um, so in that regard, it's been a, it's been a cool little like uh, gameplay learning experience kind of thing. I've had fun with it. So I'd say it's I'd say it's cool. I say uh, I say it fucks. I say it's worth um, it's worth getting. But I would say um, you know. Stick with it, because if you, let's say you got it early, and, um, you know, you, you had the same complaint I did with the ammo, um, then, you know, take your time with it. Try try picking up your pacing, try using your chainsaw more, try using your, your flamethrower more, um, you know, eventually you'll get, eventually you'll get in the groove where it'll work, and, uh, you know, the, I'll, I'll say one thing. The, the Nightmare experience, me playing Nightmare, has made me realize that uh, I don't feel like playing Nightmare. Um, <laughs> and um, that's just that's just me. Um, can I play Nightmare? Yeah. Um, do I want to get that sweaty all the time? Do I want to be like turned to 11 all the time? Absolutely not. Um, so I'm probably going to go back to Ultra Violence for like all the rest of this. But the Nightmare, um, playing on Nightmare was fun. It was, a, it was a dope experience. And normally I don't play on Nightmare. Uh, Doom 1 and Doom 2 I played on Ultra Violence. I never played on Nightmare. Um, primarily because of how Nightmare worked in Doom 1 and Doom 2 with like the constant respawning of enemies you had already killed, which was uh, more annoying than anything. But I played it on Ultra Violence. Uh, I did play Doom VFR, which I think is like Doom 2016 VR equivalent on, I want to say Ultra Nightmare. Um, I'm not 100%, but I'm, I'm fairly confident it was Ultra Nightmare because it was definitely the highest, highest. 
It was like one you had to you had to beat the campaign, then unlocked it, and then I played that one, that highest one, and then beat it. Um, and I want to say it was Ultra Knight on the VR. Um, I played Doom 3 on Veteran um, tw uh, twice now because I played it in 09 on keyboard and mouse, and then I pl and then I'm playing it again right now um, on Veteran in VR on PlayStation VR. So there's not much more I can say, um, but. I thought it was a dope game. I thought it was fun as fuck. I'm gonna wrap it up here because obviously I talked through the whole fucking video. Guys, I appreciate y'all. Put a like, put a comment, subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate again. Appreciate the love. Y'all take it easy. If there's any questions or anything, you can leave them in the comments. You guys know that sometimes I'll run through the comments, try to read what I can and put uh, you know, write my bullshit down there. So I appreciate y'all. For your fight is